Here's a simple application problem on radiance and degree measurement. A wheel is rotating at an angular velocity of 1.2 pi radians per second, while a point on the circumference of the wheel travels 9.6 pi meters in 10 seconds. Find the radius of the wheel. Okay, so let's kind of make a wheel. Okay, let's say this is our wheel, and uh, that's our center. Okay. Now it says a wheel is rotating at an angular velocity of 1.2. So, so we'll write omega. Let omega be our angular velocity and omega is equals to 1.2 pi radians per second. Correct? Now it says while a point on the circumference of a wheel travels 9.6 pi, right? So I don't know where 9.6 pi will land, but let me assume this point is here, right? Now, in 10 seconds, right? Find the radius of the wheel, right? So we have to find the radius r of the wheel. And we know this much distance is 9.6 meter. Okay, now, how will you do it? Now, the thing is that we are given angular velocity as 1.2 pi radians per second and the wheel rotates through 9.6 meters in 10 seconds. Well, according to angular velocity, what is the angle of rotation? That is what we can figure out. So it is so many radians in one second, let's say then how many radians in 10 seconds? So how many radians in 10 seconds will it travel. This is what we need to figure out. So we know it is 1.2 pi radians in one second. That is the meaning of angular velocity, right? So in 10 seconds, it will be 1.2 times 10. So it is equals to 1.2 times 10, which is 12 pi radians. So actually in 10 seconds, according to the angular velocity, a point here should move through 12 pi radians, which is this angle theta, right? So that is the angle theta, right? So we know theta and this is A. So what we know is theta equals to 12 pi radians and the arc length is 9.6 meters. And what do we need to find? Find the radius. We need to find radius, okay? And I hope you remember our formula. A equals to R theta. Just remember this triangle. A equals to R theta, right? So let's try down, make this triangle as a distance speed time, right? A equals to R theta, correct? This helps, this helps. So let me calculate it on the right side. So when A equals to R theta, what is R equals to? R equals to A divided by theta, right? R equals to A divided by theta. Now what is A for us? A is 9.6 pi. I forgot to write pi. Let me write pi here. Okay. So it's 9.6 pi divided by theta and theta is 12 pi. 12 pi. So that's what we get, right? So we can always use calculator and find the answer. Find the radius of the wheel. So they don't mention exact or two decimal places, right? So pi and pi cancels. I need to find just 9.6, I know it is 0.8, since 12 times 8 is 96, let me write 0 0.8 and the unit should be meters, correct? So that is what we get, since pi and pi cancels, 96 is 12 times 8, so we get 0 0.8 meters for the radius, so therefore radius equals to 0 0.8 meters.